Olympic athletes are streaming into China ahead of the opening ceremony on Friday. But because of the pandemic, their most loyal fans, their families, are going to have to watch from home. Tonight, Jack Thurston is talking with athletes and their loved ones about that. We're going to make the best of it. Anne Marie and Ray here are the parents of freestyle skier Mac Forehand, raised in Stratton, Vermont. While they were by their son's side through so much training and for so many competitions, COVID control rules mean mom and dad can't see Mac's Olympic debut in person. Instead, they'll rely on TV and streaming. We can watch it live or we can watch it the next day. I think we'll be watching it live by ourselves and maybe with our friends the next day. Olympians like Ryan Cochran Siegel from Vermont's famous Racing Cochran family will tell you this is, of course, hard on them, too. You got there because of your family and because of the sport, so it's, it's good when those individuals can be involved as well. Yeah, I know. It's going to be a bummer not having friends and family this time. Halfpipe free skier Devin Logan is missing her mom, Nancy, who traveled from New England for the two previous Olympics, even dyeing her hair red, white, and blue last time for support. It came out sort of purple. She goes all in for it. But for Caitlin Napoleoni of Vermont, separation is tough for one very special reason. It is a little bit easier to accept that I'm not in Beijing watching him um, because I'll be doing more important things. <laughs> She's due to have her first child during the games. Her husband is Team USA biathlete Leif Nordgren. Even if you don't bring home a gold medal, you're going to have a baby to come home to. Right. Yeah, and that, that puts everything in perspective. I'm even more excited, I think, to kind of get the Olympics over with and uh, finally go home and, and kind of meet the new little one. We're so lucky to have such great support. Back to the forehands. They'll text with their athlete son and actually did get to write letters of support ahead of time, which the U.S. ski team will deliver during the Olympics. So the athletes will have them when they get to China, which is very exciting too. Just some of the many long-distance hugs from home for Team USA in Stratton. Jack Thurston, NBC5 News.